So in the previous video, I hinted at this idea of a second derivative. Okay, this idea that we could look at uh, the second derivative as the rate of change of the gradient of the function. So the rate at which the gradient, the steepness of the curve, is changing. It seems a little bit abstract, okay, um, but it does have some very important uses. Now, you can then think about taking a third derivative or a fourth derivative or a hundredth derivative. But the more derivatives you take, the less information it actually gives you. So let's have a look at what, the, um, what we're really talking about here. So let's say I've got y is equal to, um, let's say, 3x to the 4, for example. Then the first derivative is dy by dx. Okay, so that's your first derivative. The 4 can come down to the front, so we've got 3 lots of x to the 4, so that's 3 lots of 4x to the 3. So 12x to the 3. That's your first derivative. That's the rate of change of y with respect to x. Now the second derivative has notation of d2y by dx squared. That's how I, we read it. D, it's like d squared y by dx squared. Now the reason why it has this notation is because you are differentiating, and this is the notation we use, we are differentiating dy by dx. So you get this d squared concept coming through and this dx all squared coming through. Okay, that's just the notation that it's given. So it works in much the same way. You just differentiate this now. The 3 comes down to the front, and you take 1 off the power. Okay, so you could then take a third derivative if you wanted to. Okay, so that'd be 72x. But we only need to go as far as the second derivative for this course. So you don't need to go any further. And we're going to have a look at how we can graph the second derivative based upon the original graph and see how it relates to the original problem.